on the racetrack, there's no speed limit. And the object is this, to smash through the pack and win the race. The riders have no rear view mirrors. They make war on every corner and every straight. The result is championship machinery, the lightest, fastest, and meanest motorcycles on the track and on the street. That's the whole point of Kawasaki Superbike Racing, to build winning performance and reliability, and then put it on the street. Racing improves the breed. It's a familiar claim, but it only counts if you win the races. Kawasaki wins more Superbike races than anyone else. Two championships in a row, and four in the last seven years. Street riders benefit from Superbike racing because it's based on production machines you can buy and ride home. Stock Kawasaki's are fast and reliable because they were bred and tested like this. Wide open, in fifth gear at 175 miles per hour. Blasting corners at 90 with a knee singeing the pavement. On the racetrack at speed limit zero, a crankshaft spins 10,200 RPM, lap after lap. On the street, the same design only has to turn 8,500 RPM. So there's a big cushion of reliability that comes from Superbike technology on your Spectre, LTD, or GPZ. Racing does improve the breed, and Kawasaki won more Superbike races last year than all other makes combined, plus the championship. It's no small achievement winning a Superbike race. There are 40 other guys you have to outride and outsight. You've got to survive oil on the track. Then there's rain. Every corner becomes a slippery monster. Watch this. And this. To win, you've also got to beat bad luck. The kind that hit Eddie Lawson at Road America in Wisconsin. After setting fast time in practice, the Kawasaki star was leading his heat by two seconds. Suddenly, the front tire let loose. The bike slid through the grass. Mud jammed the ignition rotor, and the engine was history. But Kawasaki doesn't quit. A half dozen men worked feverishly to rebuild the crashed superbike. The old engine lay in a heap on the floor. Will the backup engine have enough power? Will the crew beat the clock? Did the crash detune the rider? On top of all that, it's starting to rain. Maybe we can finish fourth or fifth and pick up a few points. But AMA Superbike Racing isn't fourth or fifth place for Kawasaki. It's winning, no matter what the odds. The crack crew worked their magic. Number 21 rolled to the line. But look where it grids, dead last. Those are the rules. If you don't finish the heat, you start at the back of the pack. Lawson had 32 men to pass. There they go. All eyes followed the bright green rain suit. Could the Kawasaki go from last to first? It seemed impossible, but it was happening. Five and six riders per lap fell to the charging KZ-1000. It boomed down the straights and laughed at the wet corners. Halfway through the race, Lawson sacked the leader and blew away 25,000 unbelieving fans at Road America. It was another spectacular win for Kawasaki. What kind of machine wins two Superbike championships in a row? Here's crew chief Rob Muzzy. Uh, uh, the Superbike... 2000 engine. The only real change is in the swing arm. We've added a lightweight aluminum swing arm. The crankshaft is standard, except it's been lightened for better acceleration. It has higher compression pistons and, of course, longer duration cams. The valves are a little bigger, and uh, that's about it. Power is awesome. Yeah, it's about 150 horsepower and 1,200. And the engine is bulletproof. We've, it's been very reliable. We've had no problems. So that's the motorcycle. Very similar to this KZ-1000R you can buy from any dealer. But it still takes a rider with skill and daring to win superbike races. We ask Wayne Rainey how he passes all those other guys. 
Anywhere there's an opening, I'll, I'll pass. There's really not that much passing going on down the straightaway. It's usually either going into the corners or, or going through the corners. So I think I like passing going through the corners. Watch this move by Mr. Rainey. He slides by on the outside. Can he hold it? It's close. Here comes the drag race. Got it. Winning performance from Kawasaki race bikes in 1982 brought us this for the street in 1983. The Kawasaki GPZs, Firecracker Red, quickest in the quarter mile, Unitrack suspension, and the hottest styling on any motorcycle. Check the breeding on our new GPZ 750 and 1100. Add a dive braking, pioneered on the racetrack. Eccentric chain adjuster, pure superbike. Extra swing arm bearing, another race bike trick. Ultra wide rear tire, three spoke wheels. Horsepower, the GPZ 1100 is number one. And Cycle Magazine proved it by blasting the drag strip. In 10.91 seconds, the first time a stock machine ever cracked the tens in a quarter mile. Come on, let's take a ride. That's what happens when we sell what we race. Kawasaki is champion of the street. But what about the Superbike Championship in 1983? Well, it's 750 cc this year, and Kawasaki plans to defend the championship with a production killer right off the showroom floor. You guessed it. Kawasaki's new Superbike is a 750 GPZ. And here it comes, smoking on the scene, Kawasaki style. At speed limit zero. 